Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Kumar, a neurologist and epilepsy specialist at Regional Medical Center. Epilepsy is a medical condition in which you can have two or more seizures in your life. Epilepsy is the second most prevalent neurological disorder behind stroke. It affects 1 to 2% of the world's population. More than 2.3 million people in the United States are suffering from this disease. Epilepsy can affect anyone at any age. The cause can be genetic abnormalities versus structural disease in the brain versus unknown causes. The healthy brain is made up of billions of nerve cells interacting through electrical discharges. If those interactions misfire, it can cause a seizure, which is like electrical storms in the brain. There are many different types of seizures, but there are two main categories. Partial seizures, which occur when nerve cells in a specific part of the brain misfire, and generalized seizures, which occur when a misfiring the nerve cells occur over the entire brain at the same time. The treatment for epilepsy starts with an accurate diagnosis. Not all seizures are epileptic. Up to 40% of the patients who are diagnosed with epilepsy may not have true seizures. Sometimes, True seizures and pseudo seizures can coexist in the same patient. We make a diagnosis with continuous video EEG monitoring, a non invasive technique in which electrodes are applied on the scalp and connected to an amplifier to record brain signals. During a seizure, EEG signal grows both in amplitude and frequency from the background signal. This procedure detects the type of epilepsy for better treatment and can localize the lesion for surgery if needed. The first line of treatment for epileptic seizures is controlled through medications. Up to 60% of the patients are well controlled with medications. That leaves about 30 to 40% who are candidates for surgery to remove a brain lesion. Surgery can eliminate or reduce seizures once a lesion is removed in up to 80% of patients. However, patients who are not surgery candidates can also be helped with a device called vagus nerve stimulator. Similar to a pacemaker, the device is implanted under the skin in the chest and a thin lead wire wraps around the vagus nerve in the neck. The generator produces electrical signals to the vagus nerve, which then activates various parts of the brain, helping to prevent the electrical burst that cause seizures. Epilepsy is a chronic medical condition which can have serious consequences, but accurate diagnosis is the key to the success. Due to the modern technology advancements like continuous video EG monitoring and medical and surgical interventions, we can effectively control seizures in most of the patients so they can lead good quality life.